Hey guys, Matthew here. In this video, we're going to quickly look at two um, pieces of geometry that are actually quite closely related and related to the line as well. First of these will be the polyline, and the second of these will be the curve. Now, the polyline is really, really easy to um, explain. So if I type in polyline and I start drawing one, a polyline is effectively exactly what you expect. Poly meaning many, line meaning line, many lines. So this is a special instance of a curve um, which every section is straight. If I did the exact same thing but instead I typed in curve and snapped to each of its corners I'll get a different kind of object. I'll get the end point, there we go, and there. So we have this curve and we have this um, polyline. Now if I type points on on either of these, I can turn on its points and move them. Points on, and you'll notice that they have the same point. So if I click here, you'll notice there'll be two points, one for the polyline and one for the curve. And I can move one and it'll edit the the curve. Now effectively this and this object are extremely similar except this has some interesting properties that the curve at higher degrees does not which is something I'll get into in a second. I can use a command called explode to effectively turn this into a series of lines. Whereas with the curve I cannot do that. Now when I type in curve, you notice that there is a option here called degree. Now I don't even want to get into the technicality of how the degree works, but the higher the degree, the more closely it will follow the control points. Um, so to show you that, I might draw a line um, that is 10 units long and we might make a step. So I might um, draw another line that's 10 meters long. Um, then I can copy that to there, then to there, then to there, then to there, then to there. Okay? Now if I draw a polyline along those points, it's effectively the stepping pattern. If I draw a curve with degree 1, it is another polyline. So a polyline is a curve of degree 1. If I draw a curve of degree 2, you notice now it doesn't match the step exactly. Now if I do one of degree you notice that it's a curve again, but it is not as sharp there. If I draw a curve of degree 4, I might not do the whole thing, I might just do a bit of it. You notice that it's less sharp again and so on and so forth. So if I up the degree all the way up to something like 10, you'll notice that what will happen is that it kind of smooths the whole thing out more. So the higher degree curves aren't as useful as the lower degree curves. So a lot of the time you'll be working with degree 2 and 3 and of course, you'll be working with degree 1 because that is a polyline. Um, and that's all we really have to say on curves and polylines. Um, see you in the next video.